The reason you're not making money as a trader is because you are not following these five simple habits. What's going on my people? It's your boy Denzel Effects. We're back again with another video. In today's video, I will be giving you guys five simple habits that you should be following if you want to become a successful trader. So without further ado, we're going to jump straight into it. So the very first habit that you should be doing is that you should have a daily routine. What this means is that every single day at specific times throughout the day, you should set yourself a task for yourself to follow, having a daily routine. Basically, a good example is that, let's just say, you wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning and then at 6.20 you tell yourself, I need to read 10 pages of my book. Then after you finish reading the 10 pages of your book, you go ahead and have breakfast. After you have breakfast, you tell yourself, okay, now let me get ready for London session at 8 a.m. Boom. London session happens, you can go do whatever you want and then you tell yourself, okay, at 12 o'clock I need to be ready for the New York session. The New York session happens, you do what you need to do. After that, you tell yourself, okay, let me go to the gym, work out and just keep doing what I'm doing. So, this right here is a daily routine. If you do this every single day, it, ha it then becomes a daily routine, okay? so. The reason we do this is because it keeps us in check and it keeps us in motion so we know exactly what we're going to do and everything that we do then becomes automatic. So on a daily, on a day today, you will then be waking up at 6 o'clock every day. At 6.20 you be reading. After 6.20 you get ready for the charts at 8 a.m. for London session and then you get ready for New York and then you go to the gym and then you do this and then you do that. If you do this, it keeps yourself in a good structure. So you know what to do when you're on the charts and you know what to do when you're not on the charts. Okay? Very, very simple. Very, very easy. Make sure you have a daily routine to follow. The second habit that you should be doing is sticking to the plan. What this means is that you created a trading plan for a reason. So the reason is that on a bad day, you save yourself. If the trading plan says I'm only going to risk 1%, just risk that 1%. Don't break that trading plan by then risking 3% or risking 5% because you are not going to be happy. You will be happier in the future when you realize, yeah, I followed the plan by sticking to that and risking 1%. Since in this trade, for example, I lost 1%. Whereas in a different example, if you didn't stick to your plan and you risk 4%, I can guarantee you, you will be way more pissed off with yourself for breaking that simple rule that you set to yourself. So within the trading plan or within sticking to the plan, it's not only risking 1%, there are other factors to it. For example, what pairs you should be trading. If the trading plan says I'm only going to trade GBP USD, only trade GBP USD. Why are you looking at gold? Why are you looking at AUD USD? If the plan says GBP USD, stick to GBP USD. It's very, very simple. And if the plan says I will only trade New York session, only trade New York session, you should not be looking for buying and selling opportunities in the Asian session or in the London session if the plan doesn't say so. Very, very simple. You need to make sure that you stick to the plan. Plan the trade and trade the plan. Very simple, very easy. So the third thing you should be doing is reviewing all your losses. So what this means is that after you've taken a trade and if it turns out to be a loss, take a screenshot of that loss and then from there go back to trading view and see, okay, what happened? What went wrong? Sometimes it could be as simple as you enter the trade at the wrong time. Then after that you can check the economic calendar and you'll see that there was a news event that did not turn out too well which then made your loss which then made that the reason of your loss so what that means is that the lesson that you should take from that is that next time when you enter a trade make sure you're looking at the news so the news will tell you at this time this is happening you're either in a trade or you're not and if you are in a trade make sure your stop loss is already set and make sure if you're already in profits set your SL to entry so everything is risk free fourth habit that you should be doing is that you should be back testing your strategy whether or not you're back testing every single day or you're back testing on the weekends when the markets are closed the number one thing you should be doing is back testing even for one hour or two hours or three hours it doesn't matter 
but you need to back test. The reason you need to back test is so that you can get comfortable with your trading plan and your trading strategy. So when you back test and when you stick to the plan, this then becomes a formula that cannot be broken. Then on top of that, it'll give you so much confidence inside the markets. So the next time when you see your entry criteria and all the boxes have been ticked, you know yourself, okay, I'm not going to go ahead and into this trade, whether that is a win or a loss. It really is that simple. Once you start back testing, your confidence in your strategy will then skyrocket to the moon. And like I said, it does not matter if your trade is a win or a loss because as a successful trader, what you should be doing is that aside from you back testing, you need to understand that every single trade has an outcome of, of it being a win or a loss. And the thing is, you have no control over that. Once you accept that, there's nothing more you can do. I can guarantee you your confidence in trading will, like I said, will skyrocket on top of you back testing your strategy and sticking to the plan. Okay, so make sure you just back test your strategy. The fifth and final thing that you should be doing is that you should stop chasing and start waiting. What this means is that you should be comfortable with waiting for a setup to come to you instead of you chasing the setup. It's very, very simple, just like that. For example, let's just say you've done your pre-market analysis over the weekend and then you saw your, your prime setup is there, it's ready. And all you got to do is set an alert and just wait for price to come to that alert. Once price comes to the alert, all you have to do, you know yourself, is either you press buy or you press sell. And let's just say that trade actually plays out. You will have that feeling of accomplishment that you did not chase the markets. You let the market come to you. And like I said, there is a saying that says something like, the markets take the money from the inpatient and gives it to the patient. So when it takes it from the inpatient that is you at the beginning stage of trading where the market's open and all you want to do is just trade 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 sunday night market open you've already entered five positions there could be wins or there could be losses that does not matter what matters is that you are not patient why are you entering trades as soon as the market opens just wait a little bit for your prime setup to actually happen and when it does happen, you can then have that perseverance and patience to press buy or to press sell and take it all the way to take profit. So just be comfortable with being able to wait. Waiting is not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing, especially if your trade actually ends up playing out. You get me? So my people, those were the five habits that you should be doing if you want to become a successful trader. I hope that you're able to take these five habits on board and implement them into your daily lifestyle so you can become a successful trader. But without further ado, I'm going to leave it at that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let there be peace in the Middle East and let my brothers and sisters be safe.